Today we're going to do a disassembly and reassembly of the Reaper Vex airbrush. A common issue that some people have run into is that the trigger assembly will come apart when they've taken the needle out. This is what we're here to, ch to solve, show you how to repair that or re you know, reassemble it. So what you, what'll happen is, is people will take that out, remove the needle, and then for whatever reason, by accident, because it's now not captured, this part comes out leading to this part here and causing a mess. So to get this and to fix this, what we're gonna do is fully assemble one in the steps to both take it apart, put it back together. So first thing we wanna do is take the brake back here and re remove it back. The brake is the part that when you tighten it up, allows the trigger to stop, to help control airflow, I mean, paint flow. So anyway, we're gonna now turn around and loosen the chuck. We're going to remove this and set it aside. Then we're gonna reattach the truck, retighten it slightly. At that point, we now remove the rear part, rear cap. So what we have is the assembly here as it works in its form. We can pull the, the trigger out at this point. And if this piece is loose and wants to come out, that's fine. And if not, we're not worried about it. So this is the part you wanna do and start loosening. All of this needs to be uh, done by hand tightening. Don't use wrenches and pliers on it. You might have to have a little bit of pry plier help maybe in a disassembly, but when you start redoing it, it's all designed for you to do by hand pressure. You don't want any white knuckle, burn it and get it on there. This piece, all pieces, the spring and everything is all captured. So you don't have to worry about having little pieces fall out and be all over the place. The last part is that trigger there, or this actuator. <clears throat> so what this does is rock on the, the cylinder itself, like so. And what we're gonna do is get it all back together. This gets sideways in here when you actually let the trigger come out. If this gets all sideways, this is how you get it back. So what you wanna do is look down in here, your camera, per, there we go. He's gonna show you down inside of here that you're gonna see a white circle, I mean a circle, a dot in the circle, and then a shiny area behind that circle. Those are the three reference points we're gonna discuss coming back in. So that sh this part here rides, this lower part here rides in that shiny area behind the circle. On the trigger, this that has an indent at the top, it sits in the nipple. That's that center part of that circle. And so that's, these are key in getting this back together. The last thing is, is on, on, for this mechanism, you have it, it's been keyed to be like so, to hold the spring. So when the D lines up in the keyhole, it'll do this and that's what we want. If it gets turned a little bit, it'll lock this mechanism and the brush won't work, okay? So now to reassemble it, takes a few little bit more peg attention. The first step is we wanna run this in and we wanna get it to where it's about flush to that, that threading there. And as it goes in, you wanna make sure by turning this clockwise, you'll find it easier because that's the Titan way. And you wanna make sure it, it stays springy. And as you're turning it, you'll get it down flush and then make sure that it's springy. Okay, at this point, what we wanna do and we, we can't tighten this up all the way yet because we have this curve here at the back. So I've gotta be able to get it into the brush and that whole assembly. So I'm taking this down and I'm putting it into what would, I'm having to just in my brain, see that silver area and lay this in there and then bring it, once it's in that area, curve back into that area, I bring it forward. Well, now it doesn't have enough to curve. It's wanting to go there, but not quite. So I need to loosen this just a little bit more and break it out a little bit more. You each, you know, type of thing. So at that point, now it wants to sit down in that silver area, push up against that, and then come forward and just by gravity rest there. At this time, then I will bring this part forward because we're going to help lock that piece in a little bit but we also still have to maintain the spring actuator on that. So once we're there, we'll back up a little bit. We don't want it all the way tightened down. We're gonna take the trigger. You can reverse this trigger either way. It's what captures the pin and there's a neural side with a flat to catch or if you want a little bit more subtle, you can go. Now, what we're gonna do is take that indent I showed you and drop it on that nipple. The way you're gonna do that is, is just push this in and it shouldn't take much pressure 
because we're going to keep this back a little bit. You just want to be able to grab this at 90 degrees, drop it straight in, and find that nipple. Now you know you're on it because you can see now this is pushing for the air. And then let it rest forward. And now finish tightening this part up. Now it did not, when I felt that resistance there and it wasn't all the way in, I knew it, that's because I have to keep this going spring. And sometimes it'll rot out, rotate out of place. So I keep turning until this will bottom out and tighten up and I have this actuation. Now, even though I'm to this point and everything's together, it's not captured. It won't be captured until the, uh, the rod is back in. That's what goes through that little slit and keeps the whole thing running. So now when I get it down, I hand tighten it. My chuck is still tight, but at this point, I'll put on the rear cap. And with the rear cap in place, I loosen this slightly and I reinsert the needle. And I wanna make sure that I do it very easily. It should have no resistance and just slide right into place. And when it's up there, I tighten this back up and I should have both an up and down for the air and this back and forth for the paint flow and it's all captured and stays in there. And there's how you would reassemble this ready and also for deep cleaning. Just because it comes apart by accident, if you're ready to do a deep cleaning on the brush, this is a way to disassemble this back half. So anyway, I hope this helps. There you go.